hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king 2 and today i'm going to be giving you what if naruto was too advanced for his age part 4 remember to get this one to 100 likes as usual share this to all of your friends in your social media platform and also guys remember if you're new go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become part of the anime king family by joining anime king anime king 2 and anime king 3 all links will be in the description for you guys to enjoy. And also guys, I post a brand new episode of What If Naruto Was Betrayed by Hagoromo over an Anime King 3. So go ahead and check that out and enjoy guys. All link will be down in the description. So yeah, without further ado, what do you say to begin this new episode? Start the intro. So, the last spot we left off. As Naruto was practicing and ended up destroying part of his mother garden, as him and Minato had to run for their life. Things were going along good for Naruto training, as soon enough he'll be joined the academy. As Naruto went to go pick up his new set of clothing and his weapons at the shop, as he saw the girl there she was tainting, she was going to join the academy as well, as Naruto hoped to see her there. With that he headed off as he saw Yujiu. As she asked him for a quick spar, which she agreed to as the both of them went out. She completely underestimated Naruto and that was where she messed up. As she almost drowned because of his win attack, as she was knocked straight into the water as he apologized over and over again, as she told him that she was fine and there was no need to apologize so much, as she was brought out of the water, as she also asked him for his help seeing that he was all, well, with the book smarts when it comes to her affinity water. As Naruto told her the same thing that her father had told her, as she went in the water and started to relax, as she actually felt it and the typhoon of water started to build around her, as Naruto only smiled, as he headed off. The time passed as Naruto made his way to the academy, as it was his first day as he arrived there as he saw two adults talking together and they were rather close, almost like kissing. As it was Iruka and Uncle Yeah, they were a thing, as Iruka started to treat Naruto like the Hokage son, which Naruto really hated, people bowing down to him and all that crap. He wanted to be recognized for his own strength and skill, not because he was his father's son. They introduced themselves. They were going to test Afintis and Wii, so she tests Naruto's. Naruto was shocked when he has lightning. He had wind but he had lightning as well as he couldn't believe it, as he never thought. The children then came in, as Minato arrived as well as he started to tell them about the new system in the academy. As it's a way to ensure that everyone has what they probably needed before they left the academy. As Aruka told Minato about Naruto to Afintis, Later that day, Minato came home as he saw Naruto sulking a bit. Naruto was kind of upset that he never even knew about his lightning Afinte, as he should have been working on that. But Minato told him just easy, as he can take it one step at a time, there's no need to rush. Naruto understood. As time passed the academy, as both him, Neji and Tenten work as a team, yes there were teams in the class, different Afintes, different training been going on, as two years, as Minato was proud of his son, he has come so far in just two years. And Naruto has a deadly ability, which he calls his wind sword. Yes, quite powerful. So yeah guys, so this guys what I thought if you guys can switch across the place and check it out for yourself. So we we'll begin this new episode. We begin this episode at Academy. As Naruto was approaching his last year at the Academy, and he couldn't be any more happier at the moment. Along the Academy time, he and Neji fought pretty much every week to see which one of them was a better fighter. Right now it was 51 for Neji and 50 for Naruto. Since the fight counted any, Shinobi ability, Naruto managed to integrate some win attacks with his father, Taijutsu style, managing some great damage at Neji. One time they went so hard that the both of them got severely injured that Uncle and Aruka had to end the entire session so they could be taken to the hospital. Uncle and Aruka for the part has been a relationship since the first year and they were happy to teach these kids. The academy students were very good and they were able to learn pretty much everything they had to teach. Now with the fourth year coming, their jobs are pretty much coming to an end. 
Since the last year B elemental ninjutsu, the Hokage divide the class into five groups, with Jonin instructors, for them to teach elemental manipulation. So Anko decided to return to interrogation and torture department with Ibiki as Aruka tried the Jonin exam. At the moment Naruto was making his way towards the academy, as he noticed something was out of place. Thunder was going off, and the building was black. Naruto glanced behind him as he saw the trees moving, as he felt like he was in some kind of nightmare. He sighed, since he knew that it was Kurenai, testing out her new genjutsu on him. The illusion technique held view jutsu. Closing his eyes in focus, Naruto made his specific hand sign for release. As he shouted, release! As he broke out of the genjutsu, only to see the academy burning. Naruto stepped back. He thought he broke out of the genjutsu. Was this another one? It felt so real. He didn't know that Kurenai did the first of the destruction and adding the new one. Illusion technique. Hellfire Jutsu. As the fire started to surround him even more, she dispelled the Jutsu. As Naruto saw her and Yuchio there, both of them wearing their Jonin vests. Kurenai said, how did you do this? I thought to dispel again Jutsu, what happened? I asked Naruto, as this was the first time a double air, the Jutsu was used on him. You did dispel the first one, but I cast the second one immediately, so you wouldn't notice it. You need to prepare better for Genjutsu Naruto. I know that such material is uncovered in the academy because of lack of time. But you need to be able to sense a Genjutsu no matter how real it seems to be. But she smiles, he dispelled the first one. Dispelling two Genjutsu repeatedly was rather tough to do. The ninja will have to know about the technique in order to know that it was an illusion. Naruto for his part was like a guinea pig for Kurenai to test her Genjutsu. For her it will be to practice for real missions. And for Naruto it will be to get familiarized with it. So he can prepare for the future. That was low Kurenai-chan. Nurtukan, this is your last year, right? Soon, you will be on missions outside of Konoha if your enthusiasm is as big as mine. I will say that you're having trouble controlling yourself, right? Ask you, Jeyu. As the rivalry became a good friendship between them. I sure am, said Naruto, this year. I can begin to work on my second Avinte. I've been waiting so long to train enlightened techniques. As he had a big beaming smile on his face. The girl's smile always seemed like this, always boost your spirit. Naruto pretty much have a power that he could tranquilize everyone within Konoha. It's aura, just put everyone at ease. What none of them knew was that Naruto was constantly training with his wind technique, as he do it sometimes subconsciously. And there was always a small breeze around him that calmed people. Well, Naruto can relate for team meetings, so take care, okay? Said Kurenai, the both of them waved him goodbye as he left towards the exit. As Naruto watched him leave, as he placed his hand towards his chest, something was wrong with him. He didn't know what the feeling was, but seeing them, it made his chest tighten just a bit. As he was just 9 years old, so he didn't really penetrate on that for too long, as he shook those feelings away as he headed off towards the academy. As he made his way to the room that he would be learning lightning techniques, as he slid open the door to see one person inside. Naruto noticed Silver here. Could it be? Big Brother Kakashi, is that you? As Kakashi slowly turned. My mind, Naruto, you surely grown. It's been a long time since I saw you. How have you been doing, said Kakashi, as he gestured Naruto towards the seat. Kakashi was wondering if Naruto just came here to visit him, as Kakashi knew that he was here to teach Light and Affintis towards a student with Light and Affintis. I've been fine, big brother, said Naruto. I've already progressed in my win Affintis. I've been fighting with Shadow Clones, Neji and Yuji trying to improve my Taijutsu. And I have a friend that pretty much used me for Genjutsu practice. I'm on my last year at the academy, and now I'm going to learn Light and Ninjutsu. And it's my second Affinti. Naruto was still oblivious to the fact that Kakashi was to be his teacher up on Light and Ninjutsu. Two Affintis? That's great, Naruto, said Kakashi, as he realized now that Naruto was one of his students. So, big brother, said Naruto, where were you all this time? I didn't really see you around anymore. You see, Naruto, I'm always in Konoha, but seeing that I'm an Anvu captain, my life pretty much revolved around me going on missions and using the remaining time to sleep. I didn't have that much time for you, and I'm sorry, but now it seems I'll be making that up for you. Your father gave me this year off to be teaching like Nafintis, but you're the only one that showed up. That means that you're the only one that is with Light Nafinte. So, I will be your teacher in Lightning, said Kakashi, as he smiled. He was glad that he didn't have to teach fire, as Minota had put three Jonin senses there. A lot of them will have the Affinity for fire. You're gonna be my teacher, Nurta said, as he had a big smile on his face. This is gonna be awesome, he said. Kakashi eyes smiles, he started to begin the nature of Light Nafinte and the quality and the weakness, as he showed Nurta a list of jutsus that he will be covering through the year. As Naruto listed every single word Kakashi said with much enthusiasm on his face. At the end of the week, 
in order to already learn how to channel lightning as he fill a empty battery by using chakra as he channel his lightning chakra into it I actually knew that the boy had massive reserves but they have only gotten larger over the years as Naruto got down one of his first technique lightning release shockwave jutsu at the moment he was practicing lightning release shock paralysis jutsu as Kakashi created some clones for Naruto to practice with them and touching the fifth clone Naruto was able to fully paralyze them Kakashi was immensely proud as Naruto was progressing rather quickly time skip 11 months and 3 weeks pass there was one week left to the genin test Kakashi saw Naruto as a natural the boy was progressing like nothing he ever seen before he trained till exhaustion until he was able to master every technique he came upon Kakashi was extremely proud how much the boy could learn in a year considering that he was still an academy student now was the time to teach him the technique that he had to do to pass the genin exams a technique called lightning release lightning chain it was a b rank technique where someone can produce lightning on a rapid chain a lightning strike after a lightning strike it was difficult but Naruto managed to get a single one of it down as he was able to produce an electric flow that strike the earth making Kakashi smile as Naruto was adapting so quickly time skip it was no time for the exam and everyone was there as Naruto saw his father his mother Kakashi, Yujiu, Kurenai and Genma as they were all eager to see him pass the test with the lightning jutsu that he had to do none of them knew what Naruto had to learn but when Kakashi told Minato Minato wanted to strangle the lazy Jonin teaching his son a B rank technique to pass the academy when everyone else needed a C rank but surprisingly enough UJ was the one who vouched for Naruto Hokage Sama with all due respect I believe that Naruto would surpass every expectation you set up for him just see said UJ as she felt very proud of her rival and her friend and because they used that technique against her shocking her as Minato glanced towards her she stood for her son he was curious about her relationship with his son as well as Kushina as Kushina did like UJ company at home but she was wondering the same thing now as she smiled when she mentioned Naruto's name Minato turned back he still didn't like it seeing that everyone else has to do a C rank while Kakashi had to make Naruto go and learn a B rank to pass the test well he supposed that Kakashi was just pushing Naruto to his limits and if there was one thing Naruto was known for that was to pass in his limits and surprise never one the new academy was a success that was visible as everyone was able to do their elemental affinity especially the fire style users the most of them they had to do the fire style fireball jutsu there were some earth and water users as well but since Naruto was the only one with lightning and wind affinity still he didn't have to do both because Kakashi only trained him on lightning as Kakashi was a lightning affinity teacher as his time approached Naruto calmed himself while doing some light meditation the jutsu you be doing it need a long set of hand signs and you need to be focused waiting for the signal to start as uncle gave him the signal he opened his eyes as everyone turned to see what Naruto can do seeing that he was only on the academy with lightning affinity and he got training from an ex onvu captain as Naruto went through hand signs as he went through the sequence flawlessly standing a distance away from them lightning release lightning chain jutsu he said everyone watched as the sky above them darkened instantly countless lightning descend upon the field creating massive craters as he finished the technique Naruto turned Kakashi and UJ was the only one that didn't have their jaw that was completely dropped the rest of them wondering what the hell just happened needless to say though Naruto passed with flying colors after creating these giant numbers of craters on training ground Naruto was happy that the technique was done successfully as the sequence was pretty hard the jutsu itself needed a sequence of 27 hand signs just to focus the chakra and he still had to manipulate his light in a fainted chakra while Naruto was being humbled that he could do the jutsu with pure luck the others were thinking quite differently some of his students thought that the Hokage son cheated somehow after all he just performed a B rank jutsu and that shouldn't even be possible others were in awe at complete shock as Naruto had earned the title of rookie of the year with ninjutsu the rest of them were having feeling of pride seeing what Naruto was able to do Minato had a big smile on his face and so did Kushina Yujiu for her part was taken aback she saw the jutsu that Naruto tried to use on her it was much more well weaker than this this was so much more potent well she supposed that he didn't want to hurt her hmm. she should be angry that he hold back against her but she knew if he used that at full force she don't know if she would come out alive 
after receiving multiple strikes. Probably not even one at full power. As Anko was the one that made her way and gave the headband to the project. As Naruto was just standing there. Because it take a while for everyone to get over their shock. So Anko snapped out of it and walked over. Anko made her way as she was thinking about the position of being a, well, Jonin. She would have never considered teach any of these brats but see Naruto. If she could get him on her team to teach him, that would be, well, wonderful. Perhaps she should accept the Jonin Sensei position. But the Namek has a brat. She wants him on her team. Clearly, she wouldn't favor him over the other two teammates. But if what Yujiro said was true, she would also become stronger as well. And also, she liked his personality. Never giving up no matter what, once he set his mind on something, she could already picture seeing him actual comeback, kicking four shinobi asses. As she finally made her way, congratulations, Naruto, she said. You managed to impress all of us, and we are proud to give you this Kanoa headband as a sign of you passing the examination. Please come to the academy tomorrow to see which team you will be on and your assigned Joni. As Uncle glanced towards the Hokage after giving her this headband, she would have to beg him for well, him to put her as Naruto Joni Sensei. Thanks, Uncle Sensei, said Naruto. I was real lucky to get through such a hard sequence, but it seems like I managed okay, he said as he looked around. As he tied the headband in his left arm, instead of putting on his forehead, as Naruto walked over towards the audience, but he stopped as Neji and Tintin were standing there. They also passed as he congratulated them as well, and they congratulated him as well. Naruto was oblivious when he saw everyone still looking so shocked. He didn't know that the Jutsui show was a B-rank. After all, Kakashi never told him. Considering that he saw that, well, Naruto was that potent when it comes to lightning, he decided to take it in his own hand and teach Naruto his B-rank instead of a C-rank. As he came over, he heard his father berating Kakashi for switching the test and giving Naruto a B rank. As Naruto eyes went wide, so that was a B rank? As he should have expected that seeing that it was much more powerful than his other ones. But hey guys, I pass. Isn't that great? No, I'm a ninja just like the rest of you, he said. As they all turned towards him, as Kakashi gave Naruto a thumbs up, despite Minato berating him, he was so proud of Naruto, as Yujiro smirked at him, as Kushina went over and hugged her son. Time skip, Namikaze went home. As Minato would have to appear, you would have to be there for the team selection as well. Naruto was currently upstairs, he was going through the book. Since he did a B rank lightning, he figured that he need also a B rank win. Something more powerful, wind style, the vortex jutsu he saw. A huge wind vortex that expel wind repeatedly. The more chakra, the longer the vortex go on for. The chakra recommended for it was large, as the book warned to be used only once per day. So it would not be chakra draining and chakra exhausted. As Naruto compared to the chain of lightning, in terms of chakra, while the lightning didn't put a drain on chakra capacity, it was difficult to perform seeing that it was his second nature while the wind was his first and his most common. Not to mention he had more control over wind as he constantly released wind from his body to shift the air around him. Hearing his mother calling for dinner though, he made his way downstairs as he was proud of himself and his accomplishment as he was so happy. Upon arriving and Naruto sat down, he saw his mother smiling. She was usually smiling and happy but something was off as he could feel it. As Minato looked happy as well, they were hiding something. Um, mom, dad, is there something wrong Naruto asked. Why are the both of you looking like that? The both of them laughed as Naruto knew that something was off now. As Minato reached under the table and pulled out a scroll with a kanji lightning on it, as Naruto wondered what was that. Well Naruto Khan. Since you graduated from the academy and you're now a genin, your mom and I decided to give you a present. In this scroll, there's a B rank lightning jutsu that is called Lightning Release Thunderball Cannon. Since you were able to do one on your genin exams, we asked Kashi to pick one for you to learn in your genin missions. But be warned though, a technique like this one requires a lot of chakra to use, and you should be regarding how careful you use it within battle. As Naruto smiled happily, Another powerful B rank technique for him to learn. The family then went through some casual conversation as they sit down and eat. Minato had to go back to the office to assign the Jonin senses as he had to go through the list once again to make sure everything was perfect. The Jonin senses would have to be very skilled to teach these teams since they will be performing low C rank missions. He said goodbye to his family as he saw Naruto rushing towards the garden. No doubt, already starting on the jutsu. Time skip at the office. There was 10 Jonins there along with Saratobi as well. Ayoba was one of the Jonins there, as his team was already promoted to the Chunin, all of them, and he decided to take on another team. Saratobi Asuma was there as well. The bearded ninja was once 
a member of the 12 Guardian. I know you want to take up a team now. There were some other very skills on there as well. What surprised Minato was the presence of Uncle being there. As you remember when he asked her to take a Genin team, and you remember her words. She said that she would be gladly tortured by Ibiki for hours, then take on some kids and babysit them. Now here she was as she wanted new specialized Genins. Okay Jonins, here's a report made by Aruka of all the Genins that graduated this year and their special aptitude and qualities. I and Sartobi has already set up a partner of Genin teams according to each Genin fighting style. Through the academy our Genins were able to establish their favorite position of fighting so we divide them into close range fighting, long range fighting and middle range fighting. Now I want to explain this to everyone present that the missions of being senses for the kids will be different now. Now since the missions, the D rank missions are being carried out by academy students, the Jennings will be responsible for the C rank ones. So the Jodin should be able to cover and provide good assistance for the students. Another thing is, you will all keep tabs on your students and focus on what they are special at to mold them for them to become truly level. As Minato then showed the list of the teams that will balance out between close, long range and mid range fighting. As it went on, as he came on to team 5, that was consist of Neji Hayuga for close range, Naruto Namikaze for mid range and Tenten for long range attack. The one who volunteered rather quickly was Uncle. Uncle, because of her past, with contact with Urchimaru and what he did to her, wanted really no contact with anyone, especially training some brats. After some time she came to know Aruka and they started dating. Thanks to Aruka, Uncle had loosened up with her attitude and she made friends out of people like Kurna and Ujeo. When Minata asked her the reason, she said that she had a good range of fire and her techniques. She could teach Neji and Tenten and she could also improve Tenten, master over weapons. Seeing that her Kinjutsu ability was on par with Anfu and when it comes to Naruto, even though she wouldn't be teaching him the art of ninjutsu, she would help the boy with his speed and his strength, constantly sparring with him and show him whatever he needed as she really doubt that Naruto would need her help when it comes to her ninjutsu. He literally had a wind boat that was made perfect for him, not to mention Kakashi who had more line ninjutsu than anyone else and she really wanted to see what Naruto's made of, if what Yuji would say about his abilities were true. As uncle was hereby settled as the Jonin for team 5. After hearing the good news she bowed in respect for him to Wakage but inside she was bubbling with joy. After everything was said and done Minato headed home. The moment he did he felt the fluctuation of chakras he came to see Kushina around the back and she was looking at something and she seemed quite worried. As he looked forward to seeing Naruto was the cause of it. He was behind a tunnel of wind blasting out gusts. As he was sweating Minato remember fighting a San Joni who built like this. But he doesn't really remember the name. Naruto for his part was trembling because of concentration needed for this technique as he wanted to see how long he could maintain the jutsu as he felt his chakra being sapped as he cancelled technique as he turned he locked eyes with the audience that were there. Minato was feeling proud once again at his son for accomplishing another b rank ninjutsu. Kushina was a bit worried but she saw him smiling as it left her worries for Naruto to only be a time for him to start on a rank ninjutsus seeing that he already had the chakra levels to accomplish techniques like that. It seems you've added another jutsu to your arsenal son. I've already seen this one but I don't remember the name. What is it called again? As Minato was happy to see that technique being used in favor of Konoha, seeing the last time it happened he was on the other side and it was being used against him. A skull wind style vortex jutsu that said Naruto. According to the book, such techniques divert the amount of enemies. It's a large scale jutsu attack. Yes, I know. Once I was fighting, as San Jonin. He used that technique on my platoon and it was able to make him escape. After some discussion Naruto went to bed. Seeing that he was tired and also he have to rise up early tomorrow for Jonin's selection. As his body felt strained as he passed out the moment he hit his bed. Not even bother to change his clothes. He passed out with a smile on his face. The next day as Naruto woke up with a yawn. As he smiled instantly today he is going to meet his team and the Jonin sensei responsible for them. As he instantly activated his gravity seal, feeling the weight on his body. After that, he took a shower as he changed his clothes and made his way downstairs to see his parents flirting. Such a sight brought a smile from him as he found a book recently and he read about a couple that was in the war together and came out victorious. It was just like the book as his parents were close together and talking, the both of them giggling and smiling. As he didn't want to interrupt them as he grabbed a bottle of milk out of the refrigerator as he headed towards the academy. As he was wondering would he ever found someone 
like the way his father finds his mother. Most people that Naruto knew wouldn't be surprised that he was thinking about something like this. After all, he was quite mature for his age. As he was jumping from rooftop to rooftop, he saw someone waiting for him. Yes, they were waiting for him exactly. Kami seemed to have a twisted idea for connecting people it seemed. As he was thinking about spending his life with someone, the girl that was there waiting was also thinking about the same thing. As he saw her, Yujiu. As Naruto stopped, he locked eyes with her. It was like he was in battle mode, stunning his opponent. This was routine, each of them staring at each other. Then one of them attacked, when the other didn't expect. This was created by the both of them, so they could be ready on their feet at any time. Yujiu vanished, she appeared right in front of him, her blade coming down. But Naruto blocked it with his strange knife. She smiled. She stepped back and sheathed her blade. You got fast, Naruto gun. No doubt it's the result of the six grab the seal. As Naruto smiled back, as her speed was quite remarkable for the three grab the seal. Thanks, you're much faster as well, said Naruto. You seem to be adapting quite well to the three X grab the seal. She smirked, about that. Let me guess. You want to advance to the four X grab the seal, he said. So what do you say, Naruto gun? Will you help me? She said, in a rather sweet tone. He didn't blush slightly as she giggled at that, as Naruto applied right there and then, as she said her goodbyes as she had to go for a mission. Making her way off, she had to adjust her chakras so she could move more fluently, as if Naruto could keep up with the six, she could keep up with the four, as she made her way towards Hokage's tower. Time skip. Minato arrived at the tower, as he didn't see Naruto, seems like he left out rather early. He was so busy with Kushina that he forgot to witness his son first day as a genin. And he was cursing himself for it. Not that he didn't like all the flirting he and his wife share, but he wanted to see Naruto before he left. His son probably saw him and didn't want to interrupt. As Yujiu and Kurna made their way in the office, uh, excuse us, Hokage sama, if you want some privacy, we can come back later, said Yujiu. As they had heard him berating himself, as Minuto turned to see the both of them, realizing that they heard everything, he scratched the back of his head. Yujiu saw Naruto standing there for a moment. A older Naruto. It was freaky how much he looked alike. And it made her stomach feel a bit tight. She couldn't say what she was feeling towards Naruto. It was strange. He was younger than her, but he had such a mature attitude. Not to mention he helped her so much. Minato knew that this girl was rival with his son. And you wouldn't just pick someone to be your rival like that. If you didn't, at least feel something for them. But the both of them were young, so time was not an issue there. Upon further inspection, he recognized the four X gravity seal, and he knew that his son was at 6 X, so she would want to surpass him. Yujiu san, since when do you have a four X gravity seal on you? She was surprised. She never knew that it was visible to others. How, how do you know that, Hokage sama? She said. I'm a full jutsu specialist, Yujiu san. Not to mention, I know only two people could place that seal on you, and that is me and my son. But I know that you have arrived with him, so I know that you want to surpass him. But you should be careful. The gravity seal increase would put a strain on your body and it would bother you during your mission. Naruto is currently at 6S. It would take him a while to raise 7X. Just remember to deactivate it if the battle is too hard for you to keep up. I'd rather have you alive even if the mission fails. She nodded. I will go Kakesama, she said. Alright now, I have a B right mission for two of you. A couple weeks ago, one of the villages next to Hain Nukuni had some trouble with some missing names. Go there and take care of them. As he handed Kurunai the scroll, now dismiss. As the both of them nodded and hid off at the academy, as Naruto had sprinted off after meeting up with Yujiu, as he wanted to know who his zoning was. As he arrived, he didn't see Tenten or Neji yet. As he went towards the seat, as he greeted Aruka and Uncle Sensei, not knowing that he'll be calling Uncle Sensei for some time now. Uncle Smash, he wondered if team like that would advance the zoning in the first tribe when they're ready. Well, with her as your zoning Sensei, of course they'll be. She remember her conversation with Yujiu and Kurnai yesterday, as they remember how Yujiu talked about the boy. Flashback. After a team selection, as they were dismissed, as Uncle went towards Kurnai's apartment for girls' night. As she knocked, she was greeted by Kurnai, who ushered her inside, as Yujiu was already there. As everything was there for the girls' night, Uncle started things off really hot by telling them about some sexual conversation she did with Aruka. So, I told him that he was alright, and I was quite surprised he was so dominant, he ripped my fishnet shirt. I mean, I literally just went wild right there. As Uncle started to explain the hot details that came after the ripping, that made both girls blush, she and Uncle didn't hold back a single detail. After that was over, they moved on to different topics. So, Uncle Chan, I believe you'll be taking on a team this year. 
Yes, I'll be taking on Jenny's team. Uncle turned towards Yujiro and smiled. What's wrong, said Yujiro. Who will be on your team, Yujiro asked. Yujiro was curious as she wondered who Nurita Sensei will be, but she would never say it out loud. Well, I got the Haiga Project, who has a finte in art style, and one of the best Taijutsu stances in Kanoha. His name is Nijia Yuka, and a weapon mistress like yourself, Yujiro chan. But with fire, not water. And last but not least, Uncle Paz. Who is it, at Kurnai? Come on, tell us, said Yujiro. As Uncle was just smiled the entire time. Much to Uncle dismay, though they never got it. It saddened me to see such density being displayed here, girls. Okay, I'm gonna give you a hint. Pay attention. He has two chakra fintes, a rather toned body for his age. Son, blonde hair, and deep blue eyes. Wait, are you telling me you're gonna be on your team? How can that be? I thought that you would be paired with Asuma or Kakashi. What are your fintes? Your chakra fint is fire, and you know our techniques. How on earth can you teach Naruto how to better his skills? Said Yujiu. Oh, I never thought you'd become so jealous, Yujiu chan. You should know, I will only be a sensei, nothing more. Seeing that I can't do anything about his ninjutsu, he got that era covered by now. I can improve his style of fighting, his speed, his stamina, stealth, strength. With him, the sky's the limit, Yujiu chan. The ninjutsu training will be for the other two. But returning back to that feeling before of anger that you had, why are you so jealous? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Why would I be jealous of Naruto gonna be in your team? Oh come on, no one's gonna judge you here. I mean about four or five years. He's gonna be quite the stud. I know that. But he's just ten years old right now. I just see him as a little friend. Maybe in a few years, if anything. But right now we're just friends and rival. She didn't deny the fact, and that made Uncle smile. Okay. But don't deny that he's one hell of a guy. I bet in the future, things are gonna surely pick up. But end the flashback. As the class got filled, Aruka started to read off the names, Team 1, Team 2, Team 3, Team 4, Team 5 which consists of Tente, Neji Hayuga, and Naruto, Namikaze, with their Jonin Sensei being Uncle Mirashi. As Aruka continued on reading the rest of the teams, Naruto was completely caught off guard by that as he glanced towards Uncle, who was smiling at him. He never expected this, no, not at all. After Aruka stopped calling the teams, he told them to wait for their Jonin Senseis. Uncle was already there, as she didn't wait for the others to come, as she made her team meet her at her favorite spot in Kanoha. Alright, Team 5, meet me in 20 minutes at Dango's Dan. See ya. As she vanished. Lucky that Naruto spoke to Ujeo, and he knew where the Dango Stan was, because his other teammates did not. As Team 5 left the class in a calm manner, they came across Aoba. Aoba Sensei, is that you? As Aoba lifted his head up as he looked towards Naruto. He hadn't seen him in some time now, he has gotten taller. Naruto, man, you've grown. I can see that you're a Jenny now. Congratulations. So, where are you heading? Thanks, Aoba Sensei, said Naruto. Me and my team are heading towards Dongo place to meet our Sensei, Mirashi Uncle. Aoba raised his eyebrow at that. Given Uncle's attitude, he never knew why she volunteered to teach a team in the first place. Because in the beginning, she said that she would never teach a team. As Aoba remembered talking to his ex students, Yujiu and Kurenai, and hearing them praise, Nurta skills. Oh, I see. Well, nice seeing you. I'm off to see my team later. Time skip. At the Dongo place. As a group, made their way. Uncle was already there enjoying Dongo and cup of tea. It was only five minutes left for them to arrive, and this was their first test, arriving time. As Uncle had a knack for punctuality, and that would be extended towards the team as well. As she looked at the clock, a few seconds remaining, as she saw her team came through the door. She smiled at them as they came over as they joined up for their first team meeting. Welcome all of you, she said. Together, we will be a part of Team 5. Now, even though I was your teacher at the academy, I never get to know any of you on a personal level. So we will start with some introductions. As I point, I want you to tell me your names, your likes, your dislikes, and your dream for the future. Okay, you go, she said. She pointed towards Tintin. Hi, I'm Tintin. I like weapons, my friends, my family and training. I dislike those who think boys are stronger than girls. Just because of the gender. My dream for the future is to become a weapon specialist and a part of Anvu. Very nice, Tintin. Now you, Neji, isn't it? My name is Neji Hayuka. My likes are training, my family and friends. I dislike wasting my time when I could be training. My dream for the future is to surpass my dad in the arts of the Jayugan style. Uncle nodded a smile. She turned towards Naruto. Right. My name is Naruto Namikaze. I like my family, friends, ninjutsu, training and watching the full moon. I dislike favoritism because of who is their father or which clan you're a part of. 
and my dream for the future is to become an Anku captain. The group was looking at him. Did you just say he enjoyed watching the full moon? As Anku didn't remember what Yuji said to her one time about Naruto watching the moon. Um, Naruto, did you just say you'd like to watch a full moon? I mean, what's so interesting about the Asneji? Well, at first I was impressed by the beauty and the magnitude of the moonlight acting as a second sun for Konoha. Of course, when the sun does it, it still has now, but the feeling is completely different. But nowadays, every time I look at it, it seems like I'm hypnotized by just looking at it. Your father was right, Naruto. You are indeed a werewolf, said Neji. Naruto simply smiles and remembers father saying that to him. Well, as you know, my name is Minorashi Anko. I like Dongo for interrogating me saying names. My friends and Aruka. I dislike guys who are full of themselves. And my dream for the future, well, don't really know. But I know I want to be with Aruka. And it will involve me being the head of the torturing and intelligent gathering department. As she smiled, I will be pushing you all to your limits so that you can surpass them. And I will be constantly torture I mean training you at the fullest. The group looked at her. Naruto knew that he heard that right. She said torture as she tried to slip it in at least three times now. As he looked at her, she only smiled back at him. Yeah, this was gonna be difficult. Well, at least he liked a challenge. Time skip. Yuji and Kurenai were making their way towards Dango Shack as he had just came back from their mission. After reporting to Hokage and he wants something to eat right now, Uncle had sent off her team as he was supposed to meet there tomorrow at 8 am as she wanted to fully test her skills. As Uncle was uh, about to relax, she saw her two friends came in. Uncle said Yuji, as she looked around. All by herself? I thought we'd be seeing you with your Jenny team. Yuji was trying to hide the fact that she was looking for Naruto only. As Uncle smirked, as she noticed, they just left Yuji chan. I believe that your boyfriend was heading towards his house. If you hurry, you might be able to catch him. Yuji glared at her for the boyfriend remark, but she wanted to test her skills against Naruto. After all, he was a Jenny now. And she wanted to see how he matched up. So she vanished at Shonjin, even forgetting that she was, well, hungry. Uncle simply giggled. Hey, Kurenai chan, wanna make a bet? A wager? About what? said Kurenai. Uncle smiled. How long will it take for you, Jeyo, to actually admit the truth? I would say three years from now. How about you? That soon? Although I think on the same line as you do when it comes to her, it wouldn't be that soon. Nurtogun is only 10, and she's 18. I would say 4 years from today. How much will you be betting? The both of them made their bet, laughing at the image. Well, it will also be happy to see the two of them get together in the future. After all, they both seem to like each other, although they didn't admit it out yet. Uncle could even imagine it later down in the future. And now, Mr. and Mrs. Namikaze, you, make it so bright. As she and her husband Aruka is there watching, as she smiled, Kurenai snapped her finger from her face. Uncle, you okay? Yeah, just a peaceful daydream. What was it about? Hmm, a better future, said Uncle. Meanwhile, as Naruto was thinking about Uncle training, as he was making his way deep in thought, he failed to realize someone dashing from rooftop to rooftop following him. As he leaped to the rooftop as well, to make his way to hop. As he was about to hop, a kunai came towards him. As he heard it whistling to the eerie spin and blocked it with his trench knife. It has been some time since the last spar, as he knew that it was her. She appeared behind her blade, descending down on him. Naruto blocked it with his trench knife, as she leaped away, making her way towards the training ground. A smile came on his face as he followed behind her. If it's a spar she wants, a spar she's gonna get. As Naruto landed down in the training field, his two trench knife, already humming with chakra, she came towards him as he spin her katana, only for him to block it. You're a lot stronger than before, Yujiro chan, he said. Thank you, Naruto Khan. Your speed has improved as well. She leaped back, flipping the one signs. Water style. Destructive rapid twirl jutsu. As the water started to ripple as two massive twirls were created and came towards him. As Naruto leaped out of the way as they smashed into the ground. She quickly threw a couple of shurikens towards him. As Naruto blocked, but one of them passed through the fences and stabbed him in the left arm. I guess I won this one, Naruto Khan. It seems so, said Naruto. Can you help me take care of my arm? I'm afraid to remove it, he said. Oh yeah, she said she came over. As she inspected, as it was light, as she removed it, her hands started to glow green. As she was thanking her sensei for teaching her medical ninjutsu, just in case. And now she was helping Naruto with it. Naruto for his part was feeling warm inside, as she was focused and concentrating on his wound. He didn't understand his feeling, but it made him happy and smile. As they started to talk a bit once it was over, 
as he asked her about uncle and if she was that scary. She could only nod and seeing that it was uncle personality. She had a slave driver personality and she's gonna well be really hard on them. They will just have to be prepared. She then talked about her co-op mission with Kurnai. As Naruto wonder when he'll be fighting ninjas like that. Well he'll be starting CRM missions. They'll be low level ones though. Mostly fighting bandits or something like that. Fighting missing names will be b -rank and that will take a while. Resign his fate he listened as she finished her report. They just sit there talking. Not realize that it became quite late. As the both of them said their goodbye. As they head off. As he promised her next time he will win. As Naruto made his way home. He talked to his mom who was reading some medical books. Because of her reason Naruto she never got to harness her medical ninjutsu skills. Now that he was a genie and he wouldn't be spending much time at home. She started to go through the books once again. Maybe even plan on working in the hospital very soon. At first she was sad. She was incredibly sad that he wouldn't be home anymore. But she knew her young boy was only growing up. She knew the life of Shinobi well. Seeing that she married Minato who at the time was an elite. Shinobi of Konoha. Kushina was surprised that uncle was Naruto sensei. She didn't dislike the girl but she heard the rumors. How dangerous she was. She had a dangerous personality to say. After talking and having a quick bite. Naruto made his way upstairs. As he picked up a scroll for his lightning technique. As he made his way to the garden, the other side, just to be safe again. As he began his normal training and working out, as he started to meditate, calming the chakra around him. As lightning started to travel through his coils and circling through his body. As he closed his eyes, he heard the sound of electricity traveling through his body, crackling. As he started to focus even more, the control getting better and better. There was no outward reaction that was perfect because if he applied too much, the electricity would be too much and it would shock outside of his body being quite dangerous but now it was calm still and all focused on the inside perfectly calm he needs shape manipulation to control the thunder ball cannon jutsu but he didn't know well shape manipulation he didn't curse or anything as he would just have to train even more but he was thinking about something else as he remember when he forced light out of his body recently and he wonder if he could mix that with a punch or with his taijutsu as he closed his eyes once again and channel Trucker straight down towards his fist as he felt it circulating down towards his fingers. As he then expanded, electric discharge started clean from his palm. As he turned towards the wooden dummy when he opened his eyes. As he decided to test the lightning punch, as he charged towards the dummy. Meanwhile, Kushner was reading her book as the doorbell rang. As she went to answer it, as she opened the door, she saw little Nara Genius and his mother. As she led the three of them to the living room, as they could see through the big glass door. What was going on near the garden? As they saw Naruto sprinting very fast, his hand covered in electricity. As he slammed his fist into the dummy, the thing disintegrated. It just ceased to exist. Naruto smiled like hell over this. He didn't know if a technique like that was already invented. As he looked towards his face that was still sparkling. But he wanted to take credit for this. Seriously, the possibilities were endless with such technique. With it, he could make a lightning kick. A lightning roundhouse kick. Lightning style. Lightning Strike Jutsu, he believed it should be called. Since the technique still involves so much chakra, he labeled it as a B-rank ninjutsu. But his father words would be the one that decided. As he turned, he saw three people looking at him, like he had an extra head or something. They were shocked. The next day, Naruto woke up in his bed. Going through the hygiene routine, having a bath and everything, bursting his teeth, Naruto made his way downstairs. Today would be the day Sensei would test him to see his skills. As Naruto was taking a morning jog, as it was 6 a.m., he had the 7 gravity seal on now. As he felt something strange like he was being watched. Little did he know that Itachi Uchiha was on patrol and he saw Naruto and decided to watch him a bit. Itachi for his part was smiling seeing such determination within Naruto as he woke up early just to train. Itachi was slowly condemning every single clan in Kanoha. Most of them always depend on their bloodline or use their political image to improve their status in Kanoha. They were not training. Even his brother, Little Sasuke was now focused on the power of Sharingan as he just wanted to unlock the eyes so that he could use them. And Itachi was not being a hypocrite seeing that he trained himself to exhaustion most days as he was at least thanking Kami for saving one as he was watching Naruto running. Naruto for his part went home as he had some breakfast as he arrived in a sunshine towards the training area when he was done. As he saw Uncle sitting down eating some dango. Good morning Uncle Sensei said Naruto as he walked over his hands in pockets. Naruto you're here already. You're one hour early. Seeing that you're here though, let's start a little test. Since teamwork is not a problem, we shall move to ninjutsu and taijutsu training. As you probably do not already know, my teachings to you with ninjutsu will be non-existent since I don't have lightning or wind techniques. But we will train all the other ninja arts, taijutsu, 
speed, strength, endurance, stamina, enhancing chakra reserves, all in due time. As Uncle Sarta explained, he was going to complain about ninjutsu. After all, he had his book and he just received a scroll from his father. And he had told his father about the jutsu that he came up with. As Milka agreed with him, seeing that the amount of chakra that it used, it should be a B rank to label it in the archive books. At the moment, Naruto was looking forward to physical skills enhancement to get stronger and faster. It's okay, Uncle Sensei. I was actually counting on more physical anyway. I have been doing some against home, but by fighting against Yuji, Uchan, and Neji, I have to get faster and stronger in no time, said Naruto. Okay then, kid. Seeing that we got at least one hour to kill, how about we test your abilities with that spar? Naruto smiles. He knew that he had to go all out against her, although he don't think that he can win. All right, Uncle Sensei, he said, as he deactivated his gravity seals. It was forever since he last took them off, and now Naruto feel like he could literally fly. As Uncle saw his shoulders lift like he was lifting weights, as she could see that the whole time that he had me, Naruto was holding back. Assume your stance, Uncle said. Naruto smiles, he went into his fighting stance. As he pulled out his twin knife and channel, wind chakra into them. Alright, Uncle Sensei, in time you're ready. As Uncle smiled, now she saw why Kurna and I liked fighting with this boy. Alright, let's begin. As the both of them shot forward to meet each other in the center. But guys, it'd be in this episode right here. If you want to see part of this or new, like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification as they posted. Remember, share to all of your friends in your social media platform. And also, guys, go ahead and check out the brand new episode of What If Naruto Was Betrayed by Hagoromo over on Annie Making 3. Link will be down in the description for you guys to enjoy. And I'm going to be posting a brand new episode of What If Naruto Became the God of Lightning. So stay tuned for that, and I do hope that you guys enjoy. And remember, if you're new, to go ahead and click that red subscribe button and share this to all of your friends in your social media platform, guys. And also stay tuned because later on on Animating 3, I'm going to be posting a brand new episode of What If Naruto Had the Renny Tensegon. So stay tuned for that, guys, and I do hope that you guys enjoy. So yeah, without further ado, I'm um, for now. See you guys soon. Peace.